Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we're getting small, real small. We're gonna be looking at a bunch of tiny little engravings with this super cheap little macro lens that I picked up on Amazon. So if you're looking for an inexpensive way to see those really small engravings, nice and big, uh, this is gonna be a video you're not gonna wanna miss. So stick around, we're gonna get right into it. So here's our product today, guys. It is a Apexel APL-24XMH. Uh, it's a macro lens, all right? A detachable 12 to 24X two-in-one macro lens. Uh, they call it two-in-one because it's got two lenses. So we can put uh, one on for a 12X or we can put two on for a 24X. Uh, but let's go ahead and get it opened up. We got a uh, box and a little card that's nice this is intense oh, there we go little case uh, we're probably never going to use this again so we'll just get rid of that a little microfiber cloth for cleaning and uh, here it is so here is our macro lens and that is uh, pretty much exactly what I expected it to be um, we can go ahead and screw this off here uh, so here's just the little holder and we're gonna clip that onto our phone uh, if we take this apart here, we've got our 12x lens, so that should give us a 12x magnification. And then uh, here we've got the other 12x lens, so um, they're the exact same lens, they're just doubled up. I think we can take this, uh, maybe not, I thought we could take off this uh, little light gatherer on the end here but i suppose that we can't uh so there it is uh it's it's really small it's not a not a big thing um but uh, if we grab the phone we should be able to get it on and we can start testing it because that's what really matters so i've got my uh, this is a pixel 4a 5g i love the camera on this uh, this is what i use to shoot all of our videos here uh, at the shop so we're going to use this today uh, for our tests and uh, we can start with just the 12x lens so we'll go ahead and screw that on these thin aluminum threads are so easy to cross thread so you do just want to be careful taking that on and off and uh, i suppose we just we just clip it on here like this uh, you'll notice i have my phone case off and that's because with little lenses like this you want the lens to be as flush with the uh, camera lens on the actual camera as possible so uh, i took my phone case off to use this we'll just set that kind of generally i guess here over the lens and uh, let's get the camera fired up here and it looks like yep it looks like that was good placement so uh, we've got that lined up and uh, I guess we've got our little card here let's see if uh, let's see if we can see anything oh yeah look at that you can see the dots it's a little hard to get it to focus but you can see the dots uh, that they used to actually print this card so that's pretty cool uh, let's go ahead and pop the extra 12x on on again I'm taking a little extra care just to make sure not to cross thread it. We want that on nice and tight Let's make sure that it's center and yeah, we're getting even more magnification there and we have our digital zoom too Yeah, that's looking really cool. Let's snap a photo of that The Google pixel is going to do a little extra processing for us too uh, That that's impressive. Uh, that's really cool um, but we bought this to uh, take photos of uh, laser engraved stuff. So let's go get some of that and then we'll come right back and we'll actually test this thing out, uh, you know, with some lasered items. All right, guys, so we're back. I've got the phone. We've got the macro lens. Uh, so let's go ahead and slap that on there. That's looking good. And we'll get this fired up. And uh, let's just get this center and we can take a look at some of this cool stuff that I've gathered. So. Uh, let's start over here. We've got our uh, our leather bit here and let's take a look at the leather and see what we can see. Oh yeah, you can definitely see some detail with this uh, if you get the focus just right. You gotta hold it still. Uh, one of the reasons why I like using this rather than like a microscope is because I can snap a photo and review it later. So if I go ahead and just take that picture there, we can blow this up now and uh, you know, inspect the details that we want to inspect without having to worry about holding our phones still. Uh, and that's, that's really nice. Um, we can also go into video and I'll actually, I'm gonna shoot a little video while we're, uh, while we're doing these tests so that I can throw this directly up on the screen for you. So we'll go ahead and start recording here and uh, now you can really start to see 
like your line patterns in there, uh, your, your uh, DPI and your dot size, you can start to get a really good idea of, uh, you know, the, the quality of these engravings. But, um, you know, rather than talk my way through this, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot a couple clips for you so that you can see uh, a few different materials and how this lens is uh, functioning. And then we'll uh, circle back around and I'll give you my opinion about it. So we finished recording our images guys and I hope that uh, that helped you get kind of a feel for how these work. There are a couple things I wanted to mention. Uh, I did get the little light amplifier off. Um, it does a decent job bringing light into the frame on, um, on the items but uh, sometimes it's a little long, it's a little thick and it stops me from getting close enough to the object uh, to get good focus so uh, it's on and off uh, but the trick with this was that it's just pressure fit. I was trying to like screw it off as if it was threaded but really just giving it a little squeeze uh, and popping it off did the trick. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I did over tighten the secondary lens and while I was filming I was trying to get it off to give you a view of what the 12x looked by itself and uh, I did some pretty significant damage to it with a pair of pliers. So you do just want to be careful not to over tighten that because that could lead to some issues. I had to grip it pretty hard with a, a pair of pliers, two pairs of pliers actually, uh, to even get it off. So uh, once I kind of learned where snug was, it's, it's just barely finger tight. Uh, you want to leave it there, leave it alone there um, because that's plenty and that'll do the trick. So what do we think of this? Well. Uh, it's got its quirks, that's for sure, from the uh, pressure fit light gatherer to the uh, sensitivity with over tightening and the uh, flimsiness of the clip. It's not a horrible clip, but it's a clip. Um, you know, it's got its problems, but, but you're getting 20 bucks uh, worth of, of macro lens here, and that's important to remember. Uh, if you're on a budget and you're looking for a way to blow up your engravings so that you can analyze the details and look at your hatch patterns, uh, sure, why not pick this up? Uh, is it going to match the quality of the $120 Moment Macro lens? No, uh, but I don't expect it to. The Moment Macro lens is $100 more. So if you're on a budget 
and you're looking for a decent macro lens so that you can just start to look at these kind of things, why not pick this up? Uh, even just to have a spare, I think that it's uh, totally adequate. Um, it's not amazing. It's not an amazing product. It's a $20 macro lens, but it is a macro lens and it does what it says it was gonna do. And we slapped it on there. Uh, we got some great videos. We got even better photos. Uh, and while the video can be hard to focus and at that zoom, uh, the camera can feel really shaky. Uh, you know, even for stills, this really can't be beat. Um, I'm, I'm super happy with the results I got for it. And now I've got an extra macro lens. I, I bought it to show it to you guys, but I like it enough. I'm going to keep it around here uh, at the shop. I'll be able to take the moment home and actually do some like photography stuff with it. Uh, so that'll be nice because usually I only need something this good uh, in order to get things done. So um, that's it guys, that's the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get notified the next time we post a video because we've got a whole lot more coming at you. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure you check out the links to the Patreon down below. Uh, it's four or eight dollars a month and it comes with some amazing perks. Uh, I think we're offering a really great value for our Patreon subscribers and it allows me to continue making videos like this one. Also, don't forget to check out the Discord. It's an amazing community filled with people that really just want to help other engravers. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff going on in there. We're sharing photos, videos, helpful tips, parameters for your lasers. Uh, so that is the place to be if you want to join a helpful and friendly laser community. And uh, that's all I've got, guys. Uh, so until the next episode, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.